We're at the venue today with my students doing their final project. They've been working with a band all month on doing all the pre-production, programming the lights, working on the stage, inputs, video rolls, all kinds of content to put on this show tonight. What we do is we organize gear from different buildings and then we obviously load those in a truck, bring them over here to the large venue for the band tonight. The students then come into the building, we start with a fresh building. They set up lights, they set up all the audio, all the consoles, all the video cameras, wire everything, check it all. We bring a band in, they set up their band gear, we run line checks and sound checks, and then hopefully start a show on time. The stage manager makes sure everyone's on time. If there's any problems, I'm the last resort. And so if I don't hear from anyone, everything's going well. If I hear from someone, there's a problem and it has to be addressed. I had everyone load out the truck, made sure everyone got what they needed to their respective areas. We did a little pre-production meeting, so Justin and I talked to our, our crew, laying out the day and what we believed that they needed to know and the timelines, what time, and what they had to do. Well, all through the degree program, they learn a lot of all the pre-production, as well as through the program, we have what we call live labs. So they've already worked with bands. So they're used to working in a live environment. And really, that's like no other, because teaching theory only goes so far. There's pressure now because there's an artist performing. You can't simulate that. You can't run that on Pro Tools and have that be the same experience than having a guitar stack in front of you and a guy playing it and needing to hear something out of, let's say, their monitors or having to light them properly so a video camera can pick that up or so the crowd can see them and create a motion through lighting or through video. There's no other simulation for that. So this being the final project, we come over to the bigger building. They have more creative control for it. And really, it's their show. I'm here to just help them and guide them. Front of House Engineer is the person who mixes for the audience. Uh, basically, my main goal is to recreate how the record sounds. The Cult Revolution is a cover band of The Cult. So what I've been doing is listening to all of their records, everything that's on the set list, and I'm listening for levels as far as drums and you know reverbs, delays, and that sort of stuff. The first thing that we do is unload the console off of the truck. This came from Full Sail Live 1, and then we have to flip that console to where it is now. Um, off of its road case, and then we set up our digital MADI connections, which are 64 channels of digital audio. And at that point, we coordinate with the stage and the monitor engineer for what's called a line check. And during line check, we make sure that all the microphone signals are clean and that they sound good, and then we plug them into the microphones, and then we load the band on stage, and then we get ready for sound check, which is what we're doing right now. What I do is I prepare the audio mix for uh, video and the video room. And then I also prepare it for the recording, uh, for the multi-track recording that we do. I mean, basically set up uh, my show file, which is, you know, what inputs are going to go out to what channel. I need to set up, you know, various plugins for maybe like some reverb or something. But then I also have to set up the recording software and name each track that we're multi-tracking. Also set up the video uh, that we're going to record embedded video and audio with, along with a couple DVDs. That's the gist of it, I would say. I would feel successful when I give the band a, a basically a recording of their performance that they're gonna go, wow. Up until this point with bands, we've helped them. We've been right next to them. Today and through this month, we give them freedom, where I'm still coaching them along, but they have freedom to make decisions, to really expand what they're responsible for is really what I'm doing. I have all confidence in them. It's a matter of convincing them that they have it in themselves, which is really what I'm trying to do in the final project.